Good morning. Good morning. It is the day after Christmas. It's December 26th. Good morning. Saturday, nine o'clock. Here we are. I have uh, my pajamas still on. And we're in Psalm 20 again. <clears throat> Good morning, Caitlin. So Psalm 20 is where we are today. This is the 20th day of us being in the Psalms. Um, I hope that your Christmas was good. I realized um, we went the whole day without expressing our love to the Lord or a happy birthday or anything to him um, with teenagers and presence and food taking precedence, but I know that in our hearts, we were just trying to love each other and get along. And um, sometimes Christmases have different flavors, you know, each year is a little different. And uh, I don't know how yours was, everyone doesn't have um, a spectacular Christmas because everybody's in a different place in their life, but <clears throat> I love that the Lord puts on the calendar for us to mark every once every year um, the realization of what he's done sending his son to the earth and all that that means. So um, I hope that you were blessed and that <clears throat> you are encountering the Lord as you're coming into 2021 with him at the helm. He is at the helm. We just know that he is going to do something that is marvelous in our eyes. Yeah. So, okay, we're going to start reading here. It's a short chapter. And then we're going to pray through it. This, I, I believe, um, could be titled, it is a um, a prayer of sorts in the beginning, but um, it's all sandwiched in by the word answer us in the first verse and in the last verse, which is verse nine, answer us. May the Lord answer you. And so we are coming to this psalm with an expectation that he will answer us, right? He hears us. And he wants to answer us. So let's come to him now and read his word. The Lord answer you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob set you up on high and defend you. Send you help from the sanctuary and support. Refresh and strengthen you from Zion. Remember all your sufferings. And... Remember all your offerings, excuse me, and accept your burnt sacrifice. Pause and think of that. Grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all of your plans. We will shout in triumph at your salvation and victory. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in and boast of chariots and some of horses. But we will trust in and boast of the name of the Lord our God. They are bowed down and they are fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. O oh Lord, give victory. Let the king answer us. Answer us when we call. Let the king answer us when we call. All right. So I just want to throw in a couple of observations here before I pray with you and turn the psalm into a prayer, which is what we're learning to do. And... Um, The offering that's um, talked about in verse 3 is the type of offering that is like a bloody sacrifice offered before 
the troops go to war. So this is before war kind of prayer. I think that's important to know. And then in verse 4, he says, fulfill all your plans. That is, to fulfill your purpose. And in John 17, Jesus said, I have finished the work that you have given me. We have a work. We have a purpose. We have a plan. We have opportunities. Uh, we have a reason to be here. There is something on our life, and the Lord wants to fulfill it through you. So I want to emphasize that in prayer today, um, that that will happen. Um, in verse 5, the banners he's speaking of are flags that are up, raised in defiance of the enemy. Those are the banners. And the... Um, Let's see. What else did I want to say? The name of the Lord in verse 7 is not just his name per se. It is the comprehensive character of him, of the Lord. His comprehensive character that we trust in. And um, his character is an expression of his faithfulness to his covenant with Israel. So the expression of his faithfulness to the covenant that he made with Israel and to the covenant that we have with him in the new covenant. This is the name of the Lord, the expression of his character that we raise above <clears throat> and who we trust in, what we trust in. And then again in verse 9, we're asking him to answer us and give us victory. So this is a pre war, prayer, and offering and sacrifice and <clears throat> calling out to the Lord. So if you can imagine a people getting ready with David to go to war, raising up their flags in defiance to the enemy and saying, this is what we need to hear from you, from the one that we trust in, the one that we see all of our battle arraignment, our horses, our chariots are lined up and everything, but we're not going to war trusting in that. We're going to war trusting in you and in the faithfulness that you have towards us, the expression of your faithfulness to your covenant. We are in covenant with God. And so in that covenant, we come to him in prayer. We say, answer us. So are you ready? That's the backdrop to how we can approach him today. All right. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, <clears throat> we raise our voices to you today. I have sleeping teenagers. I can't get really loud. But I pray right now, Father, that you would come into the rooms that we are each situated in, each one of us in our homes or wherever we might be today. And I pray, Lord, that you would give us a sense of a battle cry, that we are coming to you. We have celebrated your birthday. You have given to us beyond measure. You have taken care of us, situated our families, and brought us together in one form or another to love on each other, to sup with each other, to laugh with each other. And now, God, we come to you the following day after we celebrate who you are in the world. King Jesus, come to the earth as a man. And we say, this is our battle cry. We come to you as in as David came in Psalm 20, and we say, Lord, answer us in the day of trouble. The name, the name, the respect, the holiness, the faithfulness of God towards us and his covenant towards us. The name of God, the name of the God of Jacob, set us up on high and defend us. We come to that place that expression of your character, Lord, we call it out in Jesus' name, the expression that you have towards us in covenant. And we say, come to us in our trouble. Come to us and defend us. Send us help from the sanctuary. Send us support. Send us the support, the troops that we need, God. Build up the troops in the realm of the spirit right now. Send us the support that we need, the angelic host. The support now, God, I feel that the battle is accelerating and that the battle is coming to a forefront 
and we are we are drawing our swords this morning god we say refresh and, and strengthen us from zion refresh in us and strengthen us from zion this morning lord god and we pray father that you would remember all of the so the offerings that we are um, offering up to you these burnt and bloody sacrifices that typically came to you before wartime we offer them to you lord in jesus name right now god we come to you and we we stop we take a pause we think about it and we say lord may you grant to us according to our heart's desire and fulfill in us and through us all of your plans all of your purposes all the opportunities that you're putting in our um in uh our purview all of the um pre given pre thought out um pre drawn up like an on an architectural table before we were uh written in our mother's womb everything that you put in our dna everything that you put in these minds of ours in these emotional hearts of ours in the relational area that you've given us with our family and our friends and our community god we ask that you'd fulfill your plan through us because of your great name god who we're putting our trust in may you give us the desires of our heart and may we shout shout in triumph at your salvation and victory we shout in triumph at your salvation at your victory we fight from victory we fight fight from a place of victory from a place of having been secured in the spirit lord we call out those troops to secure our victory in jesus name and in the name of our god we set up our banners and so each one of us takes the flags that you have given us the flags of remembrance of your faithfulness and your goodness towards us through our life every time you met us every time you healed us every time you satisfied us every time you came and uh, healed our broken hearts every time you came and gave us exceeding joy oh and abundantly provided for us we set up those flags those me those remembrance flags in defiance of our enemy those banners and the lord fulfill our petitions the lord come now in in the memory and the wake of all of that goodness we refuse we refuse to get on the other side of the the parting of the red sea and stand in the, on the other side with our enemies drowned and forget what you have done for us we refuse to stand after such a great miracle and be a part of a crowd that would murmur and complain and hesitate at your will and hesitate to thank you and hesitate to follow uh, solid leadership god we come in submission full surrender to you in our hearts today and we say we have seen you part the red sea on our behalf and you have drowned our vic our uh, enemies you have made us victorious and now we just we come into your bosom we march on with you into our purposes into our callings and we know lord that you save you're anointed so the anointing of the lord be upon us today the fresh anointing of your spirit be upon us today and we ask that you would save and rescue us you have saved us when we have met you at the foot of the cross but you are continually saving us you continually save us day after day after day Lord, you are saving your anointed. You are answering us from heaven. And you are saving us with the strength of your right hand. 
So we, we look out upon the horses and the chariots that are lined up for battle, that are ready to go to carry us. And we say, Lord, we do not trust in them. We put our trust, we put our hope in you. In the strong name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we put our hope and our trust in the name that is above every other name. We put our hope and our trust in the comprehensive character of the Lord God. We put our trust and our hope. We, put, we boast in you, Lord. We boast in the expression of your faithfulness to your covenant with Israel and now with us, Lord. We we boast, this is what we boast in. We boast in the faithfulness of God. We see others bowed down and fallen, but we ourselves will rise and stand upright. We ourselves and our families and those that you put in our um, sphere of influence, we rise up. We are upright. And Lord, we thank you that you give us the victory. We entreat you today. Give us the victory. Give us the victory. Give us the victory. Give us the victory. Let the king answer us when we call. Answer us, Lord God, when we call you and give us the victory. In Jesus' name, as we set out, God, give us vision. Without vision, the people perish. Show us who we are and what we are to be about. Jesus said, I am about my Father's business. We are about your business, Lord. We are about what concerns you. We find our fulfillment in you. We find our fulfillment in what you have for us, Lord. What you have put on that table that drawn out on that architectural table, building in us, building in us before we're even delivered into the world. So God, we partner with you today. We praise you today for your truth. We praise you for your truth. We praise you for your word. We praise you, Lord, that we can walk in the truth and walk in your word. We ask that all of our loved ones Every single one that we love would walk in the truth. Walk in the truth in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Praise the Lord. Love coming back on with you all. Just looking over at the notes here. Yes, praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. All right, tomorrow is Sunday, and I probably will be on here probably around 8.30, 9. I'm not sure, but I will always post the time. Uh, but we have church tomorrow, so I get to get ready for church as well. Okay, God bless you. Have a great day. I get to see um, someone that has been in our previous studies. She was with us, I think, in Genesis and Exodus. Uh, Kathy Mastell is here in town today. She'll be at my house in about 30 minutes, so I need to get dressed, but She's here visiting her father, and she gets to pop by and say hello all the way from Southern California on her way to Idaho. So uh, blessings on your day, on your Saturday. Have a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.